So in this next set of demonstrations, I am going to try and show a family of new features all at once. These are all things that are improved in 10.1. First off, I want to call your attention to the currently set frame rate of this project. If I open up the project settings, the master project settings has the timeline frame rate parameter located in the timeline format set of parameters. That's currently set to 2396. I'm going to set it back to 24, which is the default, just to make a point. Click apply, so that takes. Close this. Now, I mentioned in an update to the previous new features in Resolve Title that there was a problem the Resolve team was having with importing and changing frame rates of projects, and they temporarily suspended that feature for a little while while they ironed it out. Well, it looks like they've ironed it out. So if I right click this house scene video and choose add folder into media pool, again, I get asked, the selected clips have a different frame rate. Do you want to change your project? I click change. And now if I reopen the project settings, you'll notice that the timeline frame rate is now correctly set to match the frame rate of the media, 23976. I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel, and I'm going to remove all the clips in the bin because I'm now going to switch to a completely different set of media. I'm going to right click and choose Add Folder and Subfolders into Media Pool because I know this media has a completely different frame rate. Again, I get prompted, I click Change, and now if I reopen the project settings, you can see that the frame rate has been correctly changed to 2997. So, this feature is back, and I'm very happy about it. Here's another fun new feature in the media page. Now, you're probably noticing this is some stereo media that I've got set up here. If I remove all the clips in this bin, and start all over again. I have a new way of importing media into the media pool. If I hold the option key down and drag this folder into my media pool, now, instead of just getting the contents of that folder, I end up with the entire bin structure of the folder. So that's great because in the case of this being a stereo project, I now have all of my media pre-organized into the right folder and the left folder. And I have whatever other folders might be containing other clips that I want to work with. Basically, if I've organized everything in the finder, then I can bring all that organization into DaVinci Resolve pre-cooked. Now, I don't have to option drag. I could also right click and choose from a new set of options. In this increasingly long list, you can see I now have add folder and subfolders into media pool, create bins. That does the same thing.